name is James Prashalski. I am 18 years old. I'm a nice guy. Why do you want to date that bag? Well, I like to go to the grocery store a lot. And I figured if I had my own bag to put my own stuff in that I you know, bought, and we'd make a good match. What, uh, what kind of stuff do you like to do with other stuff you have? <laughs> oh, uh, I like to use it. And, uh, you know. It's alright, it's alright. You're nervous. I know. Uh, I don't really like, you know, tell this kind of stuff. But I, I usually bring it places with me. If you were born in the 80s, what state would you live in? And why? Uh, Colorado. It, it's cold, you know. So, it's like, you know. I heard there was a lot of salt there during the 80s. <laughs> You, uh, you know, a lot. It's the snow. You know. Yeah. I, another question I have, um, have you ever watched the Flintstones? No. Don't. Um, um have you ever, have you ever thought about watching the Flintstones? Like once. Would you, if someone no, were, I don't. Someone, someone asked you. <laughs> For your opinion on, this, on the Flintstones, if this bag was a fan of Flintstones, would you sit down and watch the Flintstones with this bag? Given the information that you have never watched, nor have attempted to watch the Flintstones. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I guess. Alright, good. It's a good thing to hear. I really like hearing that. Um, I have a third question for you. Given this bag... If this bag was full of razor blades, would your opinion be the same? Well, but don't don't include toothpaste as your answer. <laughs> well, uh, if she was gonna leave me, then I wouldn't I wouldn't even talk about it. I wouldn't let her know how I feel. Razor blades can hurt. Hey, before you say anything yeah. stupid, that your answer had nothing to do with the question. It had absolutely nothing to do. So I'm going to ask you another <laughs> question, then you might understand, you dumb piece of shit. Alright. No more questions, but I'm, I'm going to need you to do something in front of the camera. I'm going to need you to pretend to cry and rub one of your breasts. Is that good? Is that good? More. And pretend you just saw your mother being raped, but you're hot, but that makes you hot at the same time. I don't know how to do that. And this bag wants nothing from me. Oh, sorry. My name is Ryan Roots. Just so you know, I would be a perfect candidate for that bag. Hands down. What about hands up? Yes. What would stop you from dating that bag? Nothing would stop me. There's nothing, anything or anyone could stop me from getting to that bag. bag. We're an African animal. And it had body parts and spiritual abilities that were... There's nothing stopping me from getting to that bag. That's very good. Scenario. Scenario. See, you really like that bag. The bag, though, isn't the youngest of the bags out there. What if this? This foxy bag comes into your life and and wants you more than that more than you want that bag. I don't know. Depends. Do you really love that bag? Or you love this bag? I'm not saying I don't hate that bag. I like GameStop bags a lot better than fucking Shrek and Mantil bags. Oh, what a coincidence, because that's a Wiseway bag.
thanks thanks for thanks for being on the show you disqualify Hello. which uh we have shown you two gentlemen that would like like to date you which uh which of these two would you prefer <laughs> oh you're so you're so funny I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Close back on. But now that you're decent, have you made a decision? That's a good one. Congratulations! The bag has chosen its soulmate. Not you. Him. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations.